Howdy folks, welcome to Coffee and Tools. I've got a laser running in here with me. I'm trying to put some cardboard between me and the laser so that I don't have to wear these silly things right now. But uh, that laser engraver we did a review about from uh, Longer Array 5. We'll get it back into that, I think Monday we'll have to come back to it. There's some uh, big announcements uh, going on with that laser. Unfortunately, those same announcements has created a huge delay on what we're gonna do today. Yes, we got the draw for the uh, welding helmet, but we also have uh, another tool coming up that was going, that will be in the draw for next Thursday. So free tools, free, free tools is free tools. Meantime, uh, I'm gonna put another piece of cardboard between me and that laser and see if I don't have to wear these glasses because I, I like to be able to see y'all. Y'all need to be able to see me, right? You know, I'll be right back. Whew. Okay, I got a cardboard box between me and the lasers. Oh, that I don't have to be uh, wearing goggles. <laughs> Last couple of weeks ago, I think it was, yeah, we did a draw for a, uh, a drill, an impact driver. Uh, and it was a really, it was a really nice piece of equipment. Anyways, the fellow Greg up there in Oregon won it. He was really appreciative. And he turned around, he sent me, uh, he made an offer. And I'll, normally, if you make an offer to send me something, I'm like, you know, I, I kind of like, I think I have everything I need. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm not a rich person by any means, but you know, I'm comfortable, I'm, I'm okay. He says, what about, he says, I got this really cool coffee shop down the street and I'll send you some coffee from them. Well, when he said coffee, I said, Greg, you're on. Okay, send it to me. <laughs> so he did. It, it's here, I drank it. As of yesterday, I washed out all my coffee equipment before before I did the event, and oh man, oh, this is some darn good coffee. This it's awesome. This coffee, it's a dark uh, like a French roast almost, and it came in this sealed bag, and I transferred it to a container that I seal that I use for storing my coffee with day to day, but. Uh, Thank you, Greg, and oh my God, it is everything you said it would be. It's really good coffee. It is awesome. If you're ever in, uh, oh, we got it here on the bag, yeah. If you're ever in McMinnville, Ville, uh, sorry, Oregon, you gotta look up this place because Greg has said it, it's an awesome place for coffee. It is an awesome place for coffee. <laughs> you might wanna fly in and get some. <laughs> that is amazing. When I walked up to the mailbox, within 10 feet of the mailbox, I could smell this beautiful aroma of coffee, and I started laughing, thinking, I guess my package of coffee from Greg is in that mailbox. I was like, wow. <laughs> Open the door to the mailbox, and, the, and just, wow. So I'm surprised the mailman didn't run off with that one, but I grabbed it, and uh, we, we held on to her for a couple days since it came in, and uh, again, thank you so much for Greg for sending it. You didn't have to, but, when it comes to coffee, I can't say no. <laughs> I was like, and I cleaned all my stuff down really good because I wanted a good fresh flavor and I used a natural filter and stuff and ran it through a drip system on a bold setting and it was everything I thought it would be. It was like smooth, rich, beautiful flavor. So <laughs> that is a, I'm glad I don't live in that little town because you know where you'd find me all day long. It's over there drinking their coffee. So Greg, we can't thank you enough for the coffee. Now, let's get back to let's get back to uh, tickets for this uh, this welding helmet, and we'll stir them all up and see if we can't find what do we got here? Oh, da, 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 da. Huh, this is an interesting one. This is an interesting one because of the name uh, Gregory. And I won't give the last name out, but uh, you are in Surprise, Arizona. Ah! Wow, congratulations. That's another Greg. That's three in a row. Isn't that three in a row? <sighs> okay, if your name is Greg, you can't be, no. <laughs> you can't be the next draw. <laughs> oh, no. Gregory, uh, Surprise, Arizona. You are going to get a professional welding helmet in the mail. <laughs> it's in a big box because so, it was the only box I could find that it would fit in you know? and the reason was I used the box for the, well, the welding helmet for something else that went out of here so, we got to catch up on boxes somehow I think we can do this Gregory congratulations and stand by Greg you can even be in the next draw if you want I've got something else coming up right away but 
That was an awesome, that was an awesome welding helmet, you lucky guy. I've got three bad boys I don't like wearing, that <laughs> I don't even trust them, but that one was nice. The quality alone was like, oh, and it's comfortable. You wear it all day long, I think, that, that welding helmet. And the rest of you guys are gonna get burned in the fireplace, as I said, but now, Gregory, wow, okay. So what are we doing? Well, we did a review this week uh, for a planer. <laughs> yeah. Wow, already? Yeah, yeah, this is nice. I like this tool. But again, my policy, you get, it gets given away. And it even comes with this hard shell case. Nice set of instructions. And there's a whoop, screwdriver uh, tool kit, if you like, for changing the blades around because there are a total of six blades three straight, three uh, 1 8 radius type for shaving the corners on your wood. And this was sent over by Banggood, and this is an aw it is a really good tool. For the money, I can't beat it. Uh, somebody criticized and said you shouldn't be comparing it with uh, wood Woodpecker's uh, tool. Woodpecker's has a really nice tool, but it's like Snap-on. It's like it's expensive, you know. And most of us guys, we buy, you know. Let's face it. I mean, Harbor Freight wouldn't exist if we didn't go and buy cheap tools, which. I'm big on cheap tools because, God, I don't have the budget to just go buy pro tools all the time. And there's a lot of uh, talk out there right now that uh, pro tools is not necessarily what the do-it-yourselfer should buy or spend his money on. You know, try to get the best tool you can for the budget, but you don't have to buy professional grade tools all the time. And the woodpecker thing, like I say, it is nice. I like the features this one has. In fact, this one for my application, I think I like the scaling and some of the other you know issues that this one has that the woodpecker one doesn't have. But like I said, don't don't get me wrong. The woodpecker is a very very expensive tool, but it's a very good tool. You know, it's they're both really good. This one just happens to be really cheap compared to that one. Anyway, this is what we got going on. So now, how do we get into this? We're going to do a draw. This is Thursday, so next Thursday we're drawing for the. The planer. Now, this is the woodworking chamfer planer. So, I guess uh, you'll email to be in the draw to uh, let's see, coffee and tool rewards at gmx.com. And again, put my head down here so we can get the you know coffee and tool uh, tool up there. Rewards at gmx.com. You email to that. In the subject line, you'll put planer. P P L A and E R. That's your subject line. And then just like you were doing a postal thing where a return address or something, just your name and your address. That's all we're looking for. And that way, like uh, Gregory here, we make up these tickets to our from our office software so that we can pull next Thursday, we can pull somebody's name out of the bucket and we'll be mailing this to whoever the lucky person is that gets this. <clears throat> and this is, like I said, this is actually from Banggood. And it's uh, banggood.com, good outfit, I like, you know, they've got nice scientific tools, they have fire sales, and when they have those fire sales, like this right now, and I'll see if I can supply the link for this again uh, today, as uh, I've got a really good discount code thing going on with this for, I think it was around $63 or something, it's like, you know, it's a really good price for, if you're interested in that kind of a planer, where you can just, you know, take off that little bit or create a champ around a small edge or corner or something for your work. It's an awesome woodworking tool. And it's nice to have one around, even if it's just, uh, you know, like that, just a cheap one. Nothing wrong with a cheap one, okay? Now I gotta put this back in here because that's the way you're gonna get it. Just like you see it, this is the one that you will receive that I know of. And it comes with this kind of funky plastic case with a rope. I guess you could hang that on the wall or something. I'm, I'm not sure what the thought was on that, but yeah, you keep that in nice shape. Keep that in your tool room somewhere and you can pull that out whenever you need to take a little off the old edge of the wood. That is a nice tool. Anyway, that's what we're doing. So uh, we'll pull that next Thursday and it's at Coffee and Tool Rewards at gmx.com and just enter one entry per household, uh, lower 48 only. 
Let's see, can we put Canada on that? Yeah, I think, I think we can get Canada on that one too. So Canada and the lower 48, it's open to anyone. And if you have two people that live in the same household, uh, as long as the name is different, I guess we might accept that, but uh, that's gonna be questionable. Yeah, because uh, there was somebody a couple of weeks ago, they had, I think, five or six people with the same address. And I thought, whoever that is, they really want whatever that tool was. <laughs> they want it pretty bad. <laughs> they want trying to win, you know. I understand, you know, that's cool. But that's what we got going on right now. Uh, and uh, next Thursday, we'll pull it. In the meantime, the laser, we'll come back to that on uh, Monday because the lasers we're running right now for a project that will be shown as part of the uh, package for the laser. We'll do a uh, final review on it and talk about the features and why it was the first one with uh, touchscreen, which is which was made that thing pretty cool. I really like the touchscreen, and I knew that it would have that because I have the 3D printer that these people make, and it has touchscreen. I love it. You know, just bump, bump, and send it on its way and make it you know do its job. Cool. Meantime, hey, thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Please like, share, and subscribe. Maybe we'll break that 10,000 mark uh, pretty soon. Meantime, uh, hey, over and out.